LA wins it 3 to 1 in 13 innings. Shin Su Chu gets two of the Reds' three hits in its Cincinnati debut. Our Hutch Kahneman is down at Great American Ballpark and joins us now live with more. Hutch? Well, Jack, in the Reds' first opening day extra inning game since 1988, the number 13 proved unlucky. And I'm not just talking about the 3 1 loss to the Angels. The Reds might have lost their starting left fielder to a separated shoulder. And when I slid head first, my hand hit the ground and it stopped. It didn't. You know, usually when you slide, you you slide. Well, my hand hit and it just stayed there, and um, my my shoulder popped out a little bit. So, uh, not the best opening day I've had, but uh, hopefully we get good news tomorrow. You discourage guys from going in head first because you know only a few guys you know know how to do it because there's a lot of things that can happen badly to your hands, your elbows, your shoulders, as you see tonight. And, uh, and like I said, it's a little, you know, it's quite disheartening, actually. It was funny because I was really starting to feel good at the plate the last five games or so of spring, you know, seeing the ball real good, saw the ball real good today, put together good at bats and, you know, one aggressive play just, um, and it happened. I can't, I, I can't, if I, if, I had to, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably do the same thing. Um, just, just freak accident, you know, I can't, couldn't help it. Ryan Ludwig will have an MRI tomorrow. As for his teammates, they have the day off. Probably a good thing since the Reds used five pitchers in the opener. On Wednesday night, they get back to action. Matt Latos charged with the task of getting the Reds in the win column for the first time here in 2013. Reporting live at Great American Ballpark, Hutch Connerman, 2 Sports. All right, thanks, Hutchie. Colorado.